do to the price on this one? Oh wait, would, would it be there? Uh, he's got another one over there. Uh, wow. Let's see. Uh, oh, I can't reach you with that hand. No, that's no, that's. I think that's his uh his registration form for for in here coming to the show. Got another one tarped up. Dang! I started off with a. Two vehicles that don't have a, a price tag on quick there's a really really big car show area it's huge and a, and a car corral area back there tons and tons and tons of vehicles that uh, I never get to see because I'm only here one day and uh, yeah I only got time for the swap meet <laughs> Maybe one of these, uh, maybe next year, maybe next year, I will, uh, I'll do the whole show, like starting Thursday. numbers he's got this one here too it's Harley Davidson and he's got that one an international uh, maybe this is the guy you want to want to contact maybe let's look at the international He's got uh, Ford uh, West Coast Mirrors, the Juniors. <laughs> I was looking for some of these out here today. I didn't find any. Yosemite. Yeah, you're good. 
That might be my my thumbnail. Wish I could get it from the front, but I think, I'm not sure, I think this was where there was a lady right sitting there and uh, there was a, she had swivel bucket seats that she wanted $400 for. It's late, it's after four o'clock now. So a lot of vendors have already packed up or tarped up their stuff. But good thing about right now is that they want 42,000 for this one, or is it or trades? Um, so you don't really have anybody, hardly anyone in your way. At least while I get the videos on all these, uh, all the projects or, you know, semi-projects or completed cars that they have out here in the swap meet. Another good thing is the sun didn't come out. Because if the sun had come out, it's setting, ah, we'd have, it would suck with the, uh, you know, the, the, uh, the shadows. This was another car that I was intrigued with. They had that sign out there body man wanted. Ah, oh, that wasn't there before. I am not for sale. I've been a family member for over 40 years and need someone to return me. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, yeah. I, that sign, I don't, I don't remember seeing that sign. So it's got the, uh, the overhead TM6. I have one of these. Yeah. I mean, okay, it's, you know. Let's see if I can get a video of it. <laughs> I wish I would have saw that earlier. It might be in there. I won't be. I won't be back tomorrow. Maybe next year I'll do the whole thing Thursday, Friday, Saturday. You know, one day really just isn't enough. writing off of it. They probably sold it.
poor man's Corvette. I kind of have a thing for the uh, Lincoln Premier. Yes, I do. Oh man, six thousand is what they want for it, and they have no freaking number. This one, I'm guessing, is not an AC car. I think these had the rear AC. Yeah, some big sway bars back there, but oh well. Sorry about the uh, little notifications. For those that have the ring camera deal, they uh. You know what I'm, what that is. Well, at least you see the price, what they want for. I think this may be their number, maybe. That may be their number. All right. If anybody's interested in the Opal, the Lincoln, or that square body, you know, try giving that number a call. Uh, I'd look at this one, but 843-263-1603 uh, is what they want for is the, the number people in there they're getting ready to leave so Phaeton this shit's for sale the only thing that I'm I have to hurry up on is because daylight is a burning oh man can't even see a number on this, but they want 5,000. <laughs> oh, wait. There you go. There you go. Time to go, make an offer. There's the number, good title. 3500. Hmm. Check out that LeSabre back there. 500, 1500. Good title on this one. I'd be interested in the engine on this one here. It's wrecked uh, 2020 Camaro. 3500, huh? Man. That's at the. I know this. You guys are like, oh, what the hell? But I'd love to do a swap in one of the, with, with one of those engines. Five dollars for tools. Runs great. Good title. She's got a tilt. The saber, bow hunt it. There's something growing on the. On the deck lid. No, actually, I think that's a, an attempted bondo, maybe. It's a Florida car, people. At least I'm pretty sure of it. Oh, yeah. That's some cake down bondo. Oh, no, no, no. I went to pop the hood in it. Ooh, almost got cut. One of my 
my favorites, one of my favorites. 62 Impala. Is it for sale? Is it for sale? I don't see a for sale sign on it. They're probably just showing it off here. I do the same. Laguna. These are, uh, these, it's got uh, G body. It's got G body buckets in it. There's a, an 87, it's a C20. 2500 for it. Same people, I think. If it was for sale, I don't see anything. So maybe it's sold. Maybe I don't know. Zinkies? No, that one is. No. Thought I saw a sign on it oh, right here. At Marty, 4500. There's a souped up LeBaron with the Continental Kid and the the wood side paneling. Oh boy. Oh boy. I think, is this, that's convertible too. Oh man, you'd be pimping in this. You would be pimping in this. Dang. It's a nice looking car. I wouldn't mind having one of these. This reminds me of a ZZ Top. I'm not sure if it's the same one or not, but. This, uh, this fiberglass, I think, right?
Might not be. I don't know. A Cadillac with a uh, with an OBS, what appears to be an OBS uh, step side bed. clean. <laughs> there it is, 7800 is what they want. There's your number. Same dude. 32 Ford. They covered up the, uh, the engine. Five hundred for it. They come with the uh, first the same guy. Man, this car to me is. Oogle, oogle. <laughs> they got the number right. You want something different? There it is. There it is. <laughs> Eighteen thousand for this. Uh, is it a rollback or no? It's a it's a ramp truck. No, it's not. I'm sure it's going to be probably. Yeah, at least would have been. Would have been I uh, there's no number on it, so I didn't. And they're looking at it, so. The engine for it's back in the back, back there. That's sitting there. It's got a couple of badass engines back there. Five grand. I'm not sure if this is for sale. There's a card there. So, if it is, I think he's just for that. That deal right that uh, that vendor's a powder coating vendor. Six seven nine zero eight zero four one, and I'm sure they're all the same. I don't know about this one. Forty. Hey, 
and I'm thinking that's what you gotta call it. thousand for that one. I think it's the same people. This is make offer above six thousand. I like that car. It's a nice looking car man. seen these things on the on the lot 91 92 Ooh, can you see the number 863-206-8783 and I I actually thought about getting one and do it though Rib doll right here with this phantom grill all the way. God, oh, that's just one phantom grill. mentioned it earlier the swap me video I just made that uh, there's one of there was one of these I crushed it now that was sitting in the little John's wrecking yard um, whether in Fort Worth but it was missing the uh, the ramp there I'd have took that ramp it was there Texas truck, huh? What do they want for this one? 5,500. I, I wonder if it's the same people. Did I see the same people? I don't know. Uh, I think that's 3991 at the end there. Yeah, that is rusted. She come out of like a Houston area somewhere, Galveston. <laughs>
we're gonna check out Fastback Mustang Alley over here. They want, it's a 69, they want 54,000 or best offer. Seventy-two. They want the Q code. One fifty-two. Best offer. Each other number in a minute. Five, our best offer. Oh, this is sold. What do they want for it? Eleven five, our best offer. Trade up or down, or sideways. <laughs> These aren't really projects. Maybe that one over there, that, that red one. Oh, uh, there's another one. At least two projects. Maybe three, somewhat. Six hundred or best offer motor or transmission for that price. Is that eight? Is that an eight four three two nine nine? I mean two two nine four seven eight seven. Uh, she's definitely a project, but I like these wheels. Ugh, I like the way it looks on. I know a lot of guys are probably like, that's not the, you know. I'd like to see a little more flared out, you know? These bigger up front, too. So I didn't really find anything today. You know, I bought some caps, center caps for uh, 
bunch of them. Guy said 20 bucks. All right. Another guy had a box of other caps. I think about 10 bucks for 10 of them. And that's it. That's all I. That's all that I bought. You know, there really wasn't anything that I just. Oh, gotta have it. Gotta have it. I actually had some really bad luck, and then some good luck. Oh, Fifteen thousand for this, but no number on it, unfortunately. Man, a lot of these cars don't have numbers on them. Man, what the deal? You know, but uh, yeah. So this morning, uh, before six o'clock, I stopped at the bank in Tampa to withdraw some money. And wouldn't you know it, the ATM said, technical difficulties, try again later. <sighs> Are you kidding me? So I said, well, let's, let's try the other ATM. And I get the same damn response. <laughs> so you know I was pissed. I mean, I barely had any cash with me. And if you, for those that don't know, at a swap meet, cash is king. I got a barracuda over there. So, and of course, I, I thought for a second, should I, I give them a call? But unfortunately, they are not open until nine o'clock. <laughs> so, and when I looked at my phone, I noticed that the bank was sending me text messages asking me if I if I was trying to take some money out of my account or you know somebody trying to commit fraud <laughs> and since I didn't respond because I, I didn't notice it well, I think they kind of locked me out of the account. Or locked me out from getting any money from an ATM. Now, there was a bank just uh, walking distance from, uh, from the swap meet. It's way on the other side of the uh, of the track, on the opposite side of the street. So I had to uh, jog, run a little, and it took me about 15 minutes to get over there. Walked in, sure enough, they, uh, you know, there was no issues. Yeah. Got my money out, no problems. It's a cool looking wagon right here. Um, so, but that killed about an hour that I could have been in here, you know, looking around. I think that's 727 992 4861. I think. Oh, it's on the front, too. Ah, we just get it out of the way. Yeah, there we go. Get back in there. Right. Yeah, it is 727. We got a traffic jam, a bunch of people trying to get out now. So that was my bad luck. The good luck was that 
after I had looked it all over, it was about 11 o'clock or so, and I was walking down that road right here, on this, that road, and there's no number on this, right? I don't think so. Um, no. So they, and I just happened to be looking down on the ground, and I found me a nice chunk of change. Oh yeah. So now the shadows we're getting is from the uh, the lights, you know, inside the uh, speedway here. Clean car. Should have enough light for this one. There's your number. <laughs> Frankie the fixer. Bel Air. Oh no, I'm in like that. Uh, let me get down here so you can. Five for it is what I'm seeing. No post. V8. I don't know how much you can see inside? Big money done. Twelve five our best offer. I wonder if it's got a title. Let's see. And there's a. Blazer K5. T-type. Seven Grand National. We want twenty-six thousand. Our best offer. I don't know much more I'm gonna be able to get video because it's probably gonna start getting, or it probably already is grainy. There's no number on these either. Probably same people. Eighty-five hundred. Our best offer. Well, at least you kind of get an idea. What the what people are asking? 
short bed. You don't really see much. Sixty-eight Chevelle convertible. They're looking for ten thousand five. I mean seven five or seven hundred fifty bucks. Uh, it was interior looked to have been done years ago, and it is weathered and in need of an update. There might not even be an engine in it. No, there's no engine in it. No drivetrain in it. The K5 Blazer, it's really dark now. 3,300 are best offer. No, 79. But if you guys think I was too, when it gets just too dark for you guys to watch, I can just click off. I wouldn't doubt it if some of these were at Moultrie last week, at the Moultrie swap meet. So. Six. Your sedan delivery. It's gutted on the inside. Nothing there. <laughs> Please don't tell me what it's not. Look at what it is. So there she is. So, I see a window there. Front glass. tank sixty seven runs and drives sixty nine hundred I see no number. Probably on the end, they're probably in, the, in that bus. I saw this earlier, at least from a distance. I was like, man, that thing looks. That paint job was looking right. I don't know if you guys can really see that, but. Small block with a blower in it, supercharger. Interior, it's been done. Oh man, interior is nice. I don't know if I can see. I can't really see that, but interior is nice. You know, she's not quite done, I think, and they got some parts there for her. It's almost done. This guy was uh, at Moultrie. If y'all seen that video, yeah, y'all seen that? These, yes. I'm not a square body guy. Oh, I got the speakers in the back. I'm not a square body guy by any means. Uh, damn, I don't see a number though. But that's a nice truck. That is a nice truck. No number. I asked the guy at Moultrie, hey man, you want to sell me Kate? Would you sell those bubble windows in the back? Just the bubble windows? It's like, no, it'd have a hole in it. <laughs> oh, man. This might be the same guy. There's a number here, I think. Yeah, you guys are welcome to 321-735-2862. Uh, this thing is really nice, too. It might, it's probably the same guy as that square body back there. Yeah. 
I wanted that bubble window. Chero here with the spotlight there. This 66 will be the last one. It's already too dark, I think. And uh, yeah, it's just it's too dark. But I can't really see inside. But uh, yeah, it's already. You know, the shadows are just too much. Oh, let me go back here. The, uh, the top's coming loose there. All right, people. That's, what's up, big boy? That's uh, probably gonna do her. Now, as you can see, it's actually in the in the video. It looks lighter. It looks like there's more light than there actually is. Like I said, I didn't really get anything. I didn't find much. You know, this, this is a good thing. I think I, I spent total 30 bucks on some caps, some uh, center caps for wheels. Shouldn't even have spent that much, honestly. <laughs> so, uh, we will be back. Actually, there's one more swap meet here in uh, here in Florida. It's the Sumter Swap Meet. I think that's next weekend. And I should be here for that at least one of those days to check it out. And uh, before I head back to uh, back to Texas. And we'll have, I think, two more swap meets this uh, upcoming month in Texas. And, uh, you know, before the year's up. So... Even though it rained and I had a little bit of bad luck, didn't find much. I still enjoyed myself, always do with these swap meets, so until the next one people.